Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And we actually have some news for the first time in a long time. In today's video, looks like two new mythical champions coming to the game. We're going to check out that teaser in just a minute. Um, we're going to talk about then the implications after that and sort of some of the stuff we'd like to see, or well, I'd like to see. We'll see what you guys think. Quick tip before we dive into it though, because I think this is an easy mistake to make. If you're doing the Bambus for Leaf Fusion, I am doing it, for instance. Again, remember, Dungeon Divers does end today. That's one of the, the trickiest things to get done. This champion training event right here is on for another four days, 18 hours, right? And you're going to need to do this to get Selenia Nightcloak. Almost definitely to do the fusion. You can see I've done a good chunk already. This is a great time to come in and to level up these fusion rares to level 40. You can see I've got basically all of mine up to level 40. I pulled an extra one of these guys so actually i think i skipped dungeon divers once so you should have the same amount it's made basically um but do not fuse up the epics until tomorrow right level up the rares go for it get bumps of level 40 etc don't fuse them until tomorrow though because those epics are going to help you at champion chase and that's going to be pretty big um so i think you'll be able to do two maybe three of the epics for a champion chase it will certainly help you to get uh, the rare that you need from Champion Chase, which is one of those Void rares, the Selenia Nightcloak. Uh, and it will also help you to push up towards like a Legendary Book, which is pretty big as well. So do watch out for that. And then, of course, the final tip to reiterate would be, I would really recommend saving the Fusion of the Legendary, which is going to cost you 1 million silver, by the way. Um, it's uh, I'd save that for CVC, which should be happening on Tuesday. So yeah, a few tips there. Let's dive in, though. Um, I think it'd be really easy to get carried away with champion training today. Fuse up the epics, level them up, and be like, yeah, this is great. Just be patient. Let's check out this teaser then. Mythical confrontation. Looks so cool, man. Like turning into a spider. That's badass. <laughs> yeah it looks absolutely sick that looks sick let's go through it uh we'll mute it. it actually really cool sound effects but here we go this is champion number one uh this champion in this form reminds me quite a bit of maragain actually uh with the hair flowing up which is one of the coolest effects it's kind of nice to see that come back right hair flowing up very very cool sort of underwater vibe um yeah it looks sick she definitely looks like a, probably a Knight's Revenant, maybe Undead Hordes. Um, let's go through it again. We see the other one, which again looks like Shadowkin with these creepy spider things at her back. Again, it looks freaking awesome. I love like the, the Japanese theme of it. Looks absolutely incredible. She looks, I'd say, cooler overall. You can see very clearly the mythical transformation. Boom. She's now in spider form. Looks super sick. Honestly, this is one of the things I love about these mythical champions, actually. Uh, I, I've been here and I can say it from the start that I've been, re, you know, it's one of the things that I've been positive about from the start is that their potential for design with these champs is to actually make something really cool. Acquisition, getting these champs, that's a whole different story. But man, visually and the potential for gameplay, I think as well, is really high with these champs. It's super cool. So it looks super sick turning into that spider, man. That is just creepy. It is disturbing. And it's, it's just great as well to see these non-humanoid champions i think that's fantastic it's one thing i loved about this mythical from sylvan watchers like yeah you've got like the the kind of pretty in a creepy way humanoid version but then it's like bam turns into this is still humanoid ish but much more monstrous i love that i love these monstrous designs in the game uh i think that they're some of the best so that is great to see and we come to the other one the first one is now wrapped up her hair is still sticking up and then bam she does her mythical transformation interesting with this one that it's not a red mythical it was like a blue color transformation that's weird that's a bit different i wonder if that's something that's going to be in the game i'm going to guess probably not they're probably going to keep the whole red mythical transformation theme for all of them i would think um but maybe it, probably just an effect for the sake of the video that matches her but like her hair is now sort of on fire um she actually reminds me of a mix it's like a mix between thea the tomb angel i feel like with this sort of crown thing uh, and um, Cleopter Cleopteryx or Cleopteryx. Uh, yeah, kind of a mix of that, right? She's got the Cleopteryx type wings. You, you see what I mean? Look at those wings. And then we look at uh, 
Is it Cleopteryx? Is it Cleopteryx? I don't know, but she's got real Cleopteryx type wings, which is cool. And the spear as well, I guess. And then again, reminds me also quite a bit of, of Thea, I suppose. Again, with sort of the wings and the floating and the crown. A little bit of that, but with the, the glowing hair. It looks really cool anyway. Yeah, very cool. So honestly, both of these champs, they look visually super sick. They've knocked it out of the park. They've knocked it out of the park. Um, I see the, the speculation already, right? It's the thumbnail, the, the video titles. Halloween Fusion. Could, it, could this be the Halloween Fusion? Possibly. However, I do think it's pretty unusual, very unusual, for them to reveal like the next Fusion this far in advance. Um, that would be really weird. Like Bambus Fourleaf, we're not even close to done with his fusion. It's possible, uh, but it does seem unlikely. I think it's just more likely these are just two new mythical champions that are coming in that are themed after sort of Halloween and being creepy. I, I would be surprised if it was the fusion, personally. I, I don't really see that happening. It could be, though. It could be. Because um, uh, it, it's been a weird week. And that's the second sort of thing I want to talk about in today's video. It has been a weird week. The portal, we've had no summoning events for the first time in ages. And this for me is actually a big win. The portal, we've just had constant barrage of 10x event after 10x event. I do feel like they came back after last weekend. Last weekend, we'd all the Mac-chan drama kicking off. Uh, and there's just been like, I think, a really negative vibe generally in the community. That was like a real sort of uh, a focal point, an amplifying point to, to really bring all that negativity to the fore. Um, yeah, they, they sort of came back after the weekend and Plarium has been almost radio silent. They said, yeah, okay, there's going to be 2x Ancients at the weekend, but that's sort of it. <laughs> we haven't heard any news from them. It has been really quiet. No summoning events. It has been a change. So I do think that they came back after the weekend and they went like, wow, okay, there hadn't been that much hype around Bambus, which I think is unfair. But Bambus didn't get that much hype. Um... Uh, like uh, very few people actually did videos on him like I, I was kind of in a rush to get mine out with the avenging sex i was like oh man other people are going to steal this and then nobody had videos on it you know uh it was weird it was really weird really weird um but no hype about that yeah all the negativity and they've just been quiet i think this is hopefully a good sign right that something might change right that they've gone okay yeah people have been super negative we're seeing this this outcry uh what are we going to do to change things right let's make some changes let's do something different and we'll see what happens so because of that yeah maybe there's a small chance that one of these is a halloween fusion that they're just like oh push it out early get them hyped early let's go speed things up maybe um but i'm not sure i think one thing i would expect the last what's next in raid video was uh three months ago it was on the 27th of june uh, we're into actually that's more than three months ago <laughs> base it almost right uh we're, we're into october now so it's been a long time since the last what's next video and in that we had accessory ascension the phantom shogun's grove sylvan watcher crypt filtering the champions which is a great feature by the way uh hydra clash was announced in that and then we had new champions like sulfurion he's in the game uh this guy's not in the game actually that's interesting it, this is Jag Bonesaw. He's in the game. Who else is there? This dude hasn't arrived yet. I I would say it's more likely this guy is the Halloween fusion, right? Not super Halloween-y themed, really, but he seems more likely. I mean, he's got a bit of purple. We haven't seen him in the game yet. This guy, he's the new Void Legendary, Vitreous or whatever he's called. Um, and then interesting enough in this teaser, this is the the, the Dwarf Mythical. Uh, which actually I was able to cover. I've got his thing right here. It's it's this guy. I have his card. <laughs> That's him. So, yeah. And then the Phantom Shogun's Grove. So, that, that's that's interesting. Yeah, th this is the guy that we haven't seen yet. We haven't. And he looks sick. He looks cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a long time since that. So I would really strongly expect a new What's Next in Raid video to maybe be pushed out a little bit sooner. Uh, would be my expectation, right? That is the thing I think that they can do. They go, okay, the community is really negative right now. Can we make our what's next and raid video a little bit quicker? Um, and yeah, they'll be waiting for longer, but hey, at least we'll get people hyped and looking forward to the future quickly, um, which is something I think they might do. Uh, 
So yeah, but my, my bet's on him. My bet's on this guy for the Halloween fusion. But yeah, I, I think this is hopefully a, 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 a mark of a bit of a change from Plarium. We will see. Obviously, they reduced the price of Primal Shards and made the Mercy system better. Uh, that's like 10% now. So that's, I mean, that's okay, right? I think the price should come down for Primal Shards even more. I still think they are too expensive. And even still, right, for me, that's not even that important um, to the game, right? Like, I... I look at the game, the game should be, the most important thing for me is that the game should be healthy and enjoyable for someone that is free to play or maybe low spend, you know, like for me, free to play or low spend. So someone is some playing the equivalent amount to like an MMO subscription um, or like a Netflix subscription or something like 15 bucks a month, right? I'd say needs to be good for those types of players. So yeah, whatever, reducing the cost of Primal Shards, that would be nice. That'd be great if they reduce it again. Brilliant. Um, but does that really affect a free-to-play player that doesn't buy any charge of money? No, it doesn't. So, yeah, I, I would love to see a couple of things. I would love to see the, the 2x mythicals actually give a 2x chance for mythical champions. I think that would be fun. Make them more obtainable. We'd obviously love to see primal quartz. I think that's something that could change in the short term. I think they could up the amount of primal quartz that drops. I think they could make primal shards more obtainable in events because right now they are so expensive. We jump to that champion training. They are so expensive. Um, like my God, 14,750 points for a Primal Shard. It's just crazy, right? Um, that's, a, it, they could accelerate those plans. Like I doubt they wanted to drop the price of Primal Shards. I'm sure that's something they planned from the start, obviously, right? We released a shiny new thing. It's going to be really overpriced at the start. And then we'll, we'll bring the price down after a while. It's exactly what they did with Soul Stones. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you see, even just with video games in general, right? It's like, oh, we release whatever, Starfield. It's $70 to buy it brand new. Uh, in a couple of years, the price will go down a ton. There's going to be, it'll be on sale, etc. It's just the way things are. Um, so, but I could see them accelerating that. Uh, they already have. I could see them accelerating it more, making these more accessible, which would be brilliant, right? Everyone benefits from that. Um, yeah, I, I think, I wonder if they, they could do like a, a soul stone event. They could make the wish list stronger, like make the wish list a 10x instead, you know, boost it from 2x to 10x. I could see that as being an event. It's not a big deal. It doesn't help that much, but something that they could do in the short term. That's like, okay, well, that's the sort of a, an optional beneficial thing that we didn't have before. Maybe 10x events for specific champs from soul stones. Not something they could easily do, right? Cause we don't have that yet. Um, or 2x events, doubling your chances just to get better quality souls. I could see 2x events for soul stones coming a bit quicker than maybe they'd wanted. Again, to make people a bit more excited. Um, and yeah, again, upping the, the rate of primal shards, upping the, the drops from Iron Twins Fortress. I could see that being something that they might finally actually go and do to earn some goodwill, <laughs> right? This is what they should do in the short term. In the short term. They need to do small changes that are easy to implement short term that they're probably planning on implementing eventually anyway. Um, just do them faster, do them now to earn some goodwill. That gets, it's really difficult. For example, we jump back to this, right? This champion filter, this is an amazing piece of quality of life. It takes a lot of work though to actually get that fully designed, um, to get it coded in, to get it bug free, running smoothly optimized like that is not something that you turn over uh quickly um i feel like you know upping the drop the the loot tables upping the drop chances from iron twins like that's something that you can do pretty quickly right dropping more primal quartz lowering the prices of these in events that's something that you can say okay we can actually do that pretty quickly um so those are the sort of things i like to see but yeah look there we go guys let me know what do you think about this week so far. What do you think about this basically news starved week? Almost nothing happening in raid. Uh, for me, it's been kind of weird. It's been on the one hand, it's like, man, I'm used to having way more news videos to make content about. Um, so it's been kind of a bit of a chill week. It feels like kind of an off week, honestly, a really slow week, uh, which is bad for me as a content creator. But I think as a player, I think it's, it's great not to have these summoning events. Um, yeah, hopefully it's going to mark a shift. What do you think about these two new champions? Do they look cool? Do you think they're going to be a Halloween fusion? Um, yeah, I, 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 again, I'd be surprised. Let me know, though. Let me know. What do you think? That's what I'm curious to hear, because uh, this has been a weird week. It's been a weird one. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.